Hello and welcome. In this tutorial, we'll cover how to analyze and predict project performance with forecasting. First of all, you need to create a project and track time on it. Then when you go to the project's forecasting tab, you'll see the trend line for total tracked hours. You can see that on some days it remains steady and on some it rises, meaning in that period there was some significant activity. Hover over the line to see all the tracked hours up to a particular day. You can switch to a different period like previous week or month here. And you can choose week here to see data grouped by week instead of day. If you have an estimate for this project, you can add it in project settings. You can define estimate either in time and enter number of hours or budget and enter a fixed amount. Then in the status tab you'll see overall progress and in the forecast tab you'll see a line for the estimate so you can visualize how close you are to it day by day. Time estimate compares actual tracked hours while the budget compares tracked billable hours multiplied by their hourly rates. When you hover over the chart now you can also see remaining time for a particular day. Let's now cover how you can predict future performance. First, you'll need to head over to the schedule page, create a few future assignments for the project and publish them. When you go to the forecast tab, you'll see the scheduled line in parallel with the completed one. The scheduled line shows how much time you've planned for the project up in total to that day or week. And as you work on the project, you can see how well you stick to the plan. When you hover over the chart, you can see scheduled number next to spent and remaining. And finally, let's cover how the forecasted line works. The completed line shows you track time until today. But if you have scheduled hours in the future, the completed line will continue into the forecasted line. If you hover over the future, you'll see the forecasted spent and forecasted remaining. The forecasted line is calculated by summing up all the track time so far and adding scheduled hours on top. So for example, you can see that we scheduled the right amount of hours to fill the time estimate. But on some days we've tracked more time than we've assigned, which pushed the forecasted line above the estimate and made it red. If we increase the estimate or assign and track less hours, the line will stop being red. At the bottom of the tab, you can quickly see whether you're right on estimate or will be under or over it and by how much. You have several ways you can control and prevent projects from going over budget. You can create alerts and get emails when you're about to go over budget, plus create reminders and get emails when someone tracks too much or too little time. Another way is to run tracked versus scheduled report and see assignment completion by user and project. Plus, in the summary report, you can see estimate and budget next to track time for multiple projects at once. Be sure to check out our other videos to learn more scheduling and tracking project progress.